Going into the opener last night, everybody was wondering would the Orioles' style, the play for the big inning style, translate into the postseason? I think the Orioles answered that question. <laughs> I think so, too. An amazing eighth inning. I'll tell you what, it, they were playing pretty much true to form. A couple home runs, of course, Nelson Cruz and J.J. Hardy. But that eighth inning was something special. And it really started with Ayaza at the top of the order. That double and then the great base running decision. There was an error made by the uh, Tiger shortstop, Romine. And he made a great read at third base. It was a great send by Bobby Dickerson. Able to get some momentum going. And this team, they weren't comfortable with that two-run lead. They kept adding on. And we've seen this team this season. They haven't put up the eight spot in an inning, but they've had big innings before. They continue to pass the baton. Quality at bats. Even their outs were productive. You look at the bottom of the order, Nick Hundley. He fought off a tough two-strike pitch, able to pick up another RBI, and really create a lot of distance between the Orioles and the Tigers. Kind of amazing that you could play 162 games and not have one eight-run inning, and then you play your first playoff game, you get one. They hadn't had an eight-run inning since the middle of the 2011 season. And, Mike, it's the first time in the history of the Orioles they've ever had an eight-run inning in a playoff game. And I think what may be more important or more uh, enlightening to that, they did it without a home run, not one home run in that rally. That's right. Well, we have seen this Oriole team really string some hits together and be very productive, not as much as eight runs in an inning. But, you know, that shows what this team is all about. They have that ability. They put a lot of pressure on opposing teams with the ability to hit the long ball, but the ability to actually string base hits together and put a lot of marks on the board. And the other thing about that rally last night, team batted around, obviously. 11 men came to the plate, but all nine batters did something in that rally to contribute. They really did. I mean, it was a great team effort. Not just the one inning, the whole ball game. Everybody contributed. Even though uh, players like Adam Jones and Nick Hundley did not pick up hits, they still worked at bats. They put the ball in play, really created things, opportunities for the Orioles to score extra runs. All right, now today, this is the big swing game. Orioles can go up two games to none. Tigers need a split. Uh, are the Tigers looking at this saying, ooh, we got whiplash last night. <laughs> well, I know that game made an impact on them. I think like most major league teams, though, they forget about what happened the day before and they move on. The Tigers are here for a reason. It's a great ball club and the Baltimore Orioles have to be on their game again today. And with 12 base hits last night, the question is which Justin Verlander shows up and how do the Orioles go about him? Well, great postseason history. Obviously a former Cy Young Award winner. He's used to this type of atmosphere. It's going to be a tough test. I think the Orioles are going to really have to really pay attention there at bats, try to work Justin Verlander take advantage of mistakes like they did in last night's ball game against Scherzer every run matters all right everybody slept fast the fans are here the players are here and the O's are trying to make it back-to-back -back wins back to Tom and Rick in the studio